¿Sabías que Carolyn la mataron? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que estuviste en su piso? Teníamos casos juntos. A veces trabajábamos fuera de horario y nos reuníamos en su casa. Tus huellas estaban en su dormitorio. Tú y Carolyn teníais una relación... íntima. Hi, Jake. Hi, Nana. I'm Victor from the Cartelera, Spain. Hi. Nice to see you. I'm happy to talk with you. Well, uh, in presumed innocent, uh, we find a crime, uh, a sex and politics, uh, a perfect combo. Uh, but what other ingredients does the series have to engage the audience? I mean, I think one of the main things is its structure. I think that David E. Kelly is, you know, um, um, a, a lion of the craft of being able to, like, really understand what it is that hooks an audience and keeps them watching. And so um, I would say it, the, the structure of it is really one of the main ingredients that makes it so propulsive, it's so compelling, and keeps you, you know, wanting to know, keeps you guessing. I, I mean, I think that the, the, the sort of talent assembled, particularly amongst, for me, watching the actors that, that perform in this, you know, I was lucky enough every day to watch all these actors and they're all just the best at what they do, you know? So to me, that's another aspect of why the show is, is so interesting is that the interpretation of like the, the words that David wrote um, by these really incredible minds, you know? Jake, uh, your character, uh, Rafi Savic, uh, has uh, some sex scenes, uh, raw sex. Uh, who is it working with and intimacy coordinator, uh, coordinators maybe to take it realistic and uh, also comfortable? I think that they're the we had a wonderful team of people around us like we had incredible uh, advisors from you know not only from this, the intimate scenes but also from a legal standpoint and you know we just had wonderful people supporting us mm -hmm. and nana uh, as a woman uh, what did you what is your interpretation uh, of this type of uh, crimes of passion that uh, tend to be especially uh, violent towards a uh, woman I think the thing that was most interesting about the way that this was crafted is that it is a crime of passion. You know, a woman has died, you know, quite brutally. And and what um, David E. Kelly has set up in this story is that everyone... Uh, is is operating in kind of a murky morality, like in a murky space, um, you know, whether even though they're they're tasked with doing the right thing. And so I like that there aren't clear cut heroes and villains. It's not very binary um, because that's real life. You know, people have multiple motives for the reasons they do. They do the things that they do. And that's very much shown in the in the series. I think it makes it really compelling. In present innocence, uh, silence uh, play a significant role. Uh, specifically with uh, Rusty Savage, uh, even though he some, in sometimes explodes. As actors, how do you this silence allow you to uh, generate tension and drama? It's interesting because I think actually in television in particular, there's a lot more dialogue than there is silence, right? I think, it, you know, it's very much more theatrical in that way and that the dialogue is expressing a lot more than in cinema. In cinema, you spend a lot more time in quiet with the character in silence. Mm -hmm. um, and in this, I think it's really the word, particularly in a legal drama. I think the tension in this show is through the mystery of never knowing who is part of the whole thing. And then also structurally, like Nana said, the way David Kelly sets up each episode, by the end of it, you really are, you think you knew the story and then all of a sudden there's another angle on it. <laughs> so, you know, that is really the tension. The tension is less in the silences than it is in the structure and maybe the silences between episodes that will create <laughs> the most tension with people. Okay, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. I love the series. Thank oh, you so thank much. You. ¿De verdad crees que maté a Caroline? Es la pregunta que hacen todos. No soy un mentiroso. Sí, lo eres. Mentí sobre la aventura, pero yo no la maté. ¿Bárbara cree que eres culpable? ¡Tú me conoces! ¿La golpeó con un atizador? Su ADN se halló en la escena. Puedan encerrarte de por vida. 